And then, Checkers and Snoozer are on a boat at night. Snoozer is fishing with a truck. I hope I get a good one. What kind of fish are you hoping to catch? A swordfish. He can live in my room. And maybe he will let me borrow his sword. And then, Snoozer catches something. I caught something. <laughs> okay, bring it in. Snoozer, this is a dolphin. Sorry, dolphin. You are a mammal. Checkers, maybe instead of taking a fish home, I will live in the ocean. Then I can be friends with dolphins and sharks and octopuses and sea turtles and... And whales! Hey, Checkers, I can't see anything. Maybe I shouldn't live in the ocean. The odds of being eaten by a whale are astonishingly low, especially in small ponds, as whales exclusively live in oceans. But regardless, I will agree with you, Snoozer. Hey, Mr. Whale, can you send us home? We live in the blue house with all the inventions on it. Checkers, are we prophets? What? <laughs> Well, Snoozer, as my toy counterpart alluded to, the odds of us being swallowed by an actual whale are exceedingly low. There's only a few types of whales that even have the biological ability to swallow a human being, or a robot vacuum. Plus, we'd probably be destroyed by the whale's stomach acid. We'd have to run an experiment. Anyway, Snoozer, I love the subject matter of this game, because- Hey, can we go somewhere to meet real ocean animals? Snoozer, you've taken the words right out of my mouth. That is exactly what we're going to do. We have our entire topic planned, and we'll record the whole thing and share it with the Fuzzleland School. That's right, Snoozer, we are ready to begin our next reading road trip. Snoozer, we are going to two aquariums, and we are going to be seeing lots of ocean animals. Wowza! That's what I'm talking about. Oh boy, I love animals. I don't know how they swim underwater like that. I'm feeling jittery. Yay! Yeah, when people think of aquariums, they generally think of a tank of water that some smaller animals swim around in, but the aquariums we're going to are very large tanks of water with lots of ocean animals. You know, we're going to be seeing penguins, jellyfish, dolphins, all sorts of amazing animals. Wow, see! Really? Let me pull up the map. We are headed for Rainbow Way. Once we cross through, we'll be right at our destination. The Aquarium of Niagara and Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Along the way, we're going to check in with Mrs. Hamilton to do a craft in her treehouse. Oh boy! We better hurry so we have time to do all this stuff! Here come the books! Uh, 
let's check out a few. What did we get? Large books. Here you go, snoozer. The most amazing creature in the sea by Brenda C. Gilberson. And the Big Book of the Blue by Yuval Zoomer. Tremendous. These are going to be amazing books to experience. Are you ready for a closer look? Mm -hmm. All right, snoozer. Heading in in three, two, one. Big Book of the Blue, sensational. This is a book that gives us an extensive look into the ocean and the animals that live inside. Sweet! Oh, I feel so little. Yes, that's because this is a big book. Here are all the animals included. Let's take a look. It's a good thing they're just drawings, but I will say it is fascinating to see how many snake species there are. And did you know that snakes can live underwater? No, I didn't. And there are some nifty snake facts in here too that you might find interesting. And that's just a little taste. There are many animals mentioned in this book, both big and small. And just like an aquarium, it is fascinating to see the big animals, but just as interesting to see the little animals that occupy the oceans. Yeah, there are just so many animals, and I don't get to see them very often because I don't live in the water. With so many animals here, we could spend all day looking at these illustrations. To try to see all these animals in real life. I need to start a checklist. I think you'll get to knock off a bunch of them today with our visit to the aquariums. Anyway, let's check out another book. Okay, we're in a book called The Most Amazing Creatures in the Sea. Cool! What's the answer? This book isn't interested in giving you that answer. It wants you to decide for yourself. Unlike the last book, where there were many animals included on each large page, here we are given a description of a unique animal one by one. You may have never heard of some of these creatures before, making this book distinct. Ah, oh, I feel like I'm really underwater. That would be the art style, which is designed to look as if we were really there, interacting with the animals. The writing style also comes from the animal, as if it were trying to convince us that it is the most amazing creature in the sea. Listen to this. I am the greatest diving reptile on Earth. I breathe air, but still I can dive 4,000 feet into the cold, dark ocean and stay underwater for 85 minutes. I love to eat jellyfish. My thick skin shields me from their toxins. Spines in my throat trap their bodies as I swallow them whole. No jellyfish escapes my gobbling mouth. That's why I am the most amazing creature in the sea. I think I'm convinced. Recency bias. Wait until you get the full picture. But who knows, perhaps the leatherback sea turtle will stay your favorite. Yes, I will decide who is the best, and then I want to give them a trophy. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Good to be back. Is it craft time? Yes, let's go. Hi, boys and girls. Would you like to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft? 
just like me? Guess what? You can! Head to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft. Plus, we have activity sheets, games, and a whole lot more. Your library might even have their very own schnauzer. Come and see me! Anyway, back to the show. Yeah, I think we are, Snoozer. I'll see you in a few minutes. Ah! Ah! Oh, nice of you to pop in today, Snoozer. I'm just dropping in for craft time. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Well, today we're going to be making our very own jellyfish. So you need this sheet and this one. Wow! I have both! Perfect. Well, we might as well start cutting out the pieces. Let's do it! I'm good to go. So, we've got the tentacles, eyes, a mouth. All right. This is going to be cute. Do you have everything you need? Yes, ready to go. All right. Thanks, Snoozer. That looks really good. But Mrs. Hamilton, I did a little change. I made mine red and yellow. Hmm, I wonder why you picked those colors, Snoozer. Because red and yellow are my favorite colors, and I just couldn't resist. Well, I love it, and it represents you perfectly. Well, I hope you had a great time, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Me too! Goodbye, Mrs. Hamilton! Bye! to add some more color. And that's why there's some yellow and red on the bottom. I think it just pops more. Snoozer, I have some very urgent news for you. What is that? We are at the rainbow. Huh? That happened so fast! Checkers, I'm not prepared! Oh, are you ready now? Okay, I'm ready now. Okay, we are going through the rainbow. All right, Snoozer, it looks like we've arrived at the aquariums. It's a pretty nice day, Snoozer. Maybe I'll change into something a bit more comfortable. You should wear your checkers pants. Right outside, they've got some seals. There's Della, Medusa, Striker, and Lumiere. And boy, do they seem to be enjoying the day. Now, last time we were here, we met with the Humboldt penguins. Swim up and said hi to me. But this time, we're going to explore the other things this aquarium has to offer. Right on their website, the Aquarium of Niagara has every animal listed, so we can see who we're about to meet. Like this one right here, the axolotl, a critically endangered species that relies on places like this to keep them from going extinct. He looks grumpy. And this one is called the Asian Arana. What a beauty! And here are the white-spotted bamboo sharks. But don't let the shark name fool you. These animals are harmless to humans and robot vacuums. Hello, soft-shell turtle. I'm Snoozer. I don't know why I'm whispering. She's actually a freshwater animal, and as the name suggests, it does not have a hard shell as one would usually expect with a turtle. The soft-shell turtles live a very solitary life. And their main predator is the alligator. Oh boy! Good thing she is here and not at the Florida Everglades. Now it's time to visit Aliens of the Sea, the jellyfish.
They've put some information up here about the life cycle of a jellyfish. Here is the moon jellyfish, the most common species of jellyfish. And these are the white spotted jellyfish. Harmless to humans, and they feed on zooplankton. And right here, we've got the sea needle jellyfish. The red parts are the venomous tentacles, protecting the jellyfish and making them dangerous to humans. The white curly parts there are the arms that suck up the food out of the water and channel the food through the bell and into its digestive organs. My favorites are the moon jellyfish. Are the big ones the grown-ups? No, actually these jellyfish get smaller as they age. Perhaps the opposite of what one would expect. Wowie! They look like flowers if they were animals. You're not wrong, Snoozer. They don't have brains, and the part of their body that looks like their head there is actually called the bell. Oh, I thought it was a head! This is completely changing my life and confusing my mind. Last up for today, the California sea lions. These animals are native to California, where the water is warm. Oh my! They are great swimmers! Look at them go! Whoosh! Excellent swimmers. And they really love it, too. <laughs> they remind me of doggies. But my doggy does not like the water very much. Right. They have some similarities to dogs. They can follow commands, and they create bonds with their trainers. Oh, boy. Check this out, snoozer. Wow! How do you even do that? Okay, one more stop for today. Back at Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Oh, goody two shoes. I love this place. They have dolphins here. That's right. Last time we were here, we visited the late Winter the Dolphin and other magnificent dolphins like Hope, Nicholas, Hemingway, and PJ. Oh yeah! That was so great! And we played with them! We sure did, Snoozer. Of course, there's a lot more going on here at Clearwater. Here, they're helping to rehabilitate sea turtles. They rescue them from the wild. Some of them are injured. The one in here right now accidentally swallowed a hook. Oh no! Clearwater will bring them in, care for them, and then return them to the wild. If the animal is unable to return to the wild, then they allow them to live here in peace. That's great! This is a happy place! Lastly, here are some rough-toothed dolphins, Rex and Rudolph. Are you the real Rudolph? Wait, is Rudolph a dolphin or a reindeer? Checkers, is the North Pole underwater? Uh, Snoozer, I think you're mixing up Rudolphs. Oopsie! Anyhow, we better get going. Zot the Robot at your service. These are today's book selections. Barnacle is Bored by Jonathan Fenske. Shark Lady by Jess Keating. The Boy and the Whale by Mordecai Gerstein. Two Truths and a Lie by Amy Joan Parkett. The Most Amazing Creature in the Sea by Brenda Z. Guberson. The Big Book of the Blue by Yuval Sumer. That is all for now. Goodbye. And the fishies were so cute too! I mean, oh my gosh! So many things happened! I saw so many animals! Oh, those dolphins are so smart! Checkers, I think dolphins might be smarter than kitties! I think that's probably true, Snoozer. Dolphins are among the smartest animals in the animal kingdom. Well, that about does it. That's a lot of information on that file, Snoozer. And it was a good time. Yes! And I love what the aquarium is doing to help the animals! I'm in agreement, Snoozer. Both the aquariums we visited today are full of passionate workers who love the animals they work with. And they understand that we as humans... And me as a robot vacuum! have the responsibility to help out the animals that need it. 
And I hope that all the children at Fuzzleland School understand that that's what these workers have devoted their lives to. Well, that about does it. Until next time. <laughs>